Bannister workers learned how to file claims against the government tonight. Oh, but the complicated process pleased very few. It's all in response to what investigator Russ Patasica uncovered. Our list of sick workers is approaching 400 people. Russ. That's right, Mark. And, you know, very few of the people on our list have gotten any help from the government. Assist folks in filing a claim. The majority of tonight's meeting focused on benefits for sick workers from the Honeywell side of the complex, where workers make parts for nuclear bombs. That's where Treva Nance's husband worked until his death. He uh, had cancer, a very rare form of cancer. We want to make sure that you have your, your chance to get all of the information that is available. Many were unaware of compensation programs or the government's effort to track health conditions of former workers at the plant. I didn't know yet you could get uh, free health screen. I didn't know that. It's, a knot and it's on both of them. Many of the meetings showed physical signs of health problems. I have breathing problems. I have asthma. I have COPD. I have uh, emphysema. Gloria Whitfield Watson worked on the General Services Administration side of the complex. Many of her former colleagues at tonight's meeting didn't feel like the government offered enough resources to workers on their side of the complex. Now we're turned over to tables of panels of experts who are basically just telling us how to fill claims that will undoubtedly be denied. Workers also complained they weren't allowed to speak in the open forum. We've created a long list of resources for workers online. Go to NBCActionNews.com slash Bannister. I'm investigative reporter Russ Potosik, NBC Action News. Hey, now, Russ, I know there's more this week involving these agencies as a result of your investigation. What's next? Well, the Centers for Disease Control is coming back into town tomorrow, and they are doing blood tests on former workers from the GSA side of the complex. And experts say if the CDC finds toxins in their blood from metals that are used on the side of the plant where they make parts for nuclear bombs, that could be the proof workers need to prove their claims. All right, we'll be anxiously awaiting that. All right, Russ Potosik in the newsroom. Thanks.